This is my Lamborghini Gallardo Superleggero Twin Turbo. I have rebuilt this from uh, stock to the Twin Turbo as it is now. It's looking pretty stock from outside still and uh, it is. I'm thinking now uh, to sell this car. So in this video I'm gonna do a walkthrough of uh, the car, what I have done to the car and uh, all of the special uh, details about uh, Superleggera. And yeah, you should be able to see in the description below uh, what uh, a little bit more information if you're interested in the car, um, price of the car or something like that. So yeah, we start with this uh, 2008 first generation Lamborghini Gallardo Superleggera. And uh, Superleggera is the special model, it means super light in Italian. So this car is about 100 kilos lighter than a normal Gallardo. And uh, yeah, they are uh, this generation a little bit limited, only made them in 2008, this first generation. So they are pretty special. Also the white uh, Superlegeras are the most rare one, I think. Uh, there is some black, orange and um, yeah, the white ones is the most rare one. Uh, as a matter of fact, this was the only white uh, Superleggera first generation in UAE when I bought it. And then I exported it from uh, UAE to Sweden and uh, now this is the only one in Sweden that I have seen in uh, all these years. Uh, first generation uh, white Superleggera. So yeah, exactly this model is pretty rare. There is a couple of Superleggeras in Sweden, but uh, not the white one. And also here we can see uh, like the win number and um, yeah, you can see that this is um, for Arabian market um, to start with. The Superleggera have a lot of uh, carbon fiber, so it is uh, nicer than the normal Gallardos, both on the outside and on the inside. Here the door panels uh, hold carbon fiber, just a leather strap here to hold it. And yeah, the interior is so nice of these um, cars. All dash is Alcantara, seats is Alcantara, it's carbon fiber here in the back of them and yeah ceiling is Alcantara and we have some carbon fiber. This car from the beginning it's an e-gear with paddles but now I have converted this car to a six-speed manual gearbox for uh, driving pleasure and uh, and also a little bit better drivability when the car is twin turbo. And uh, yeah, even if the car is modified, I have all of the original parts. I have everything to make this um, e-gear car again and uh, yeah, we'll uh, give that. And, and that will follow the car when uh, this car is maybe sold, so. The car have 38, yeah, almost 39,000 kilometers. And when I bought this car, it had uh, 24. So, yeah, still uh, not that much. If we open the carbon fiber hood here, we can see the big twin turbos here that makes this uh, V10 5 liter Lamborghini engine uh, breathing fully. It is uh, twin precision turbo, 67 millimeters. And uh, here we have a big intercooler, water intercooler in the middle and uh, water reservoir on the side here. New performance blow-off valves and uh, a lot of nice details like a lot of hydro flow, very nice clamps, fittings. We have fuel system, fire extinguisher system and uh, turbo smart wastegates are in the sides here and we also have heat exchangers for the turbo system. Um, both on this side and on this side. So all of the turbo system is in the back, so nothing in the front is uh, uh, blocked by any water tank or something like that. The engine in this one is fully built, so it has, um, uh, for starting, the aluminium block is uh, bored out for steel liners. It is uh, ductile iron liners from UK, Westwood, same company as provide uh, 
liners or uh, sleeves to Königsegg actually. And there's custom connecting rods from Auto Verdi here in Sweden. They're also making uh, connecting rods for supercar manufacturer. And uh, yeah, it's CP pistons. Uh, uh, rods and pistons is specially ordered for just this car. The wrist pins is uh, two millimeters bigger than uh, the original in these engines. So yeah, all is uh, custom made, but I have all the specifications and the numbers. So if uh, ever needed to uh, make a new piston or rod or anything, it's possible to make them with my recipe. Oil system is modified with a plate uh, in the middle of the engine and the oil filter is down here. So yeah, it's uh, easier to change the oil filter and uh, better price of that filter than the original ones that is a bit overpriced. We can also see under here is the water pump for in the cooler system, very nice one. And yeah, here we got the water tank for the intercooler system. So everything is back here. One neat thing is that the exhaust system is uh, back here. Uh, it is actually the original Superleggera exhaust. Uh, the Superleggera has a little different exhaust compared to the normal Gallardos, but um, yeah, the turbo system is in between here. So it goes into this, this exhaust and uh, it also has the exhaust valves. So with a press of a button, I can get um, the sound more or less if I want. So that's a really good thing. Also here I have the original air box and everything if you want to make this car um, like uh, original again. Also I have a quick uh, kit that can take the exhaust from here to here and uh, the air box to make it not respirated uh, pretty quick. You don't need to remove any bumper or anything like that to modify this one from turbo to NA. Everything can be done from above here. Here we can see in turbo smart wastegate a bit of it and yeah all the fittings is XRP uh, pressed fittings so everywhere you can see it this is these pressed ones and a lot of these hydro flow very nice one very expensive easy quick to disconnect and connect if you want it's o-rings inside here so holding the water tight there but uh, yeah Everywhere I can, it's these uh, pressed lightweight XRP hoses. Other wastegate here on the left hand side, and there's also sensors on the wastegate field position. So um, I want to have as much information as possible about the engine, so I have put a lot of sensors. ECU of this car, by the way, it's a Motec M150 with the GPR P package so it was able to handle the e-gear uh, with the Motec PDM 30 in this one and with this one I was also uh, working on the and that one was also controlling a bit of the clutch time because uh, it's not a sequential gearbox so yeah of course the fuel system with the fuel injectors fuel pumps is upgraded as well and uh, yeah we have uh, well done fuel pressure regulator here on the side. All of the fabrication like welding is done by myself and uh, yeah it is uh, a couple of years now since I built this uh, car so yeah it's holding up good and not been driving it that much so that's one of the reasons I sell the car because I like more to build cars than to drive cars. Some other small details that makes these cars a little bit lighter is that these are plastic. Uh, still this car is from 2008 and uh, yeah the windows are immaculate. They are um, yeah all fine even though it's plastic. These ones are glass. This one back here it's plastic as well. This one plastic and uh, carbon fiber. And I have converted this car to six-speed manual, as you can see. But it still have uh, some traces from the e-gear. It got a reverse button there. If you want to do a 100% complete uh, swap, you remove that one as well. Uh, the pedals are still here. Actually, I'm still using this one to blip for downshifts. So you can rev much by blipping this one. And I think that's really cool when um, driving manual and have the blip. We have the three pedals here, a little bit dirty there. Yeah, sorry about that. This car is not detailed for, yeah, I don't know, 
two years maybe. It has been standing in the garage for a long time now. And uh, yeah, just been doing small things with the car. So it is, uh, yeah, I cleaned the car, but uh, it's not detailed. So yeah, it could, could need uh, some nice detailing to get uh, perfect. Maybe I do it before I take some pictures and um, yeah, if I'm gonna do some uh, ad and put it for sale. But maybe I just have this video and uh, hopefully someone get interested in the car. On the outside here we have the massive brakes. It's actually 380 millimeters uh, carbon ceramic brakes both front and rear. The newer uh, Lamborghinis, uh, the Gallardos and Huracan, actually had smaller brakes. So yeah, these are really nice. It is uh, Speedline rims and actually I have a little bit of spacers both front and rear because I think that uh, yeah, the wheels need to come out a little bit compared to what they are original. Mirrors, carbon fiber, side skirts, carbon fiber. Also here in the front of the car, we have an aftermarket front bumper. This looks like the LP560 front bumper, but it's not the original because the LP560, they have like a more V-shaped hood here. So yeah, I think the brand is called Renown of the front bumper. So it's a high quality one. It's not glass fiber. It's uh, yeah made from a real mold with real uh, plastic there. I still have the original front still, but uh, it is uh, damaged. I I actually hit a duck uh, that was, uh, yeah, it was actually a whole family of ducks running over the road, so I had nowhere to go. And uh, yeah, it's a little bit damaged. It's possible to repair that one. And yeah, of course, that one is also following the car if, uh, if someone buys the car and want to, to have it. But I think this is the nicest um, front bumper for the Gallardos LP560. I think the LP570 is. Uh, yeah, a bit too aggressive for this car. I have a flex fuel sensor, so it's possible to drive this car with uh, both um, E85 and normal gasoline. The engine was actually built, uh, or this car, to be like an, uh, yeah, a race car from uh, my um, yeah, thoughts from the beginning. And many things like the engine is made for 2000 horsepower. Maybe not the crankshaft, I think that one is only holding for 1500, but uh, most of the other things inside the engine there is made for a lot of power. The turbos is made for a lot of power, but I actually think that this car is too nice to have it like a 2000 horsepower uh, car, uh, race car. It's too nice for that one. Uh, it should be enjoyed as it is, I think. And uh, yeah, sometimes I have I have been over 1000 horsepower in this one, but usually, um, yeah, um, less than that. And that is when it is perfect, I think. Uh, right now it is rear wheel drive only, but I have um, the front diff and drive shafts, everything, so it's possible to make it four wheel drive. And now also it is R tires, Toyo R tires, front and back, a little bit louder than the normal one. So if you want to have it quieter, uh, it's possible to put some normal street tires on. And also I'm very flexible about the um, condition of the car, uh, depending on the customer, what the customer want. I can do job or configurations of this car in uh, some different configurations. But I think uh, the car is most fun to drive right now, rear wheel drive and uh, maybe seven, eight hundred horsepower. On the inside is beautiful carbon fiber, a little bit dark maybe to see here and beautiful seats here some gauges also here in um, the back we have an option we have a roll cage this one came original from um, Lamborghini so it is uh, the optional roll cage I had uh, racing harnesses racing seat belts in there uh, short time but it was not the original ones it was uh, uh, some aftermarket but it's possible to put in very easy here in the center console it is a little bit of modifications this is for the fire suppression system and this one is a boost uh, switch here and this one is for exhaust loud or 
yeah, quiet. I had before one Notec dash up here that I could see the values of the engine, but now I have put back the stock original uh, gauges there. Stereo is the original one. Actually, the Superleggera did not came with a stereo. It was just a carbon fiber plate here and its uh, logo, Lamborghini. You can have the stereo or you can have the navigation and this car had the navigation. I bought this car when I was in Dubai. I lived there and worked there for some time and this car is sold in Dubai. Beautiful booklet here uh, and uh, with Superleggera embroidery uh, in Alcantara. This one as well, just took out um, book here for navigation is in English but I think the normal book here yeah carbon fiber here as well is in Arabic so yeah the first owner was a local Arabic that had his car and the second owner was a French guy it was an um, fighter pilot instructor that I bought the car from the French guy there so yeah it was in very good condition when I bought the car and uh, yeah I've been keeping it try to keep it as good as possible oh actually here receipt from um, Emirates Palace yeah I made some road trips around in um, UAE uh, had it some good time could be maybe the most expensive coffee I've been drinking $50 for coffee and yeah it's um, yeah maybe something to eat there as well some some cake also maybe um, yeah good times um, it was actually gold on the coffee. So, good times there in Abu Dhabi. Also, if we check here, uh, now we have um, 12 volts and we have uh, Ethernet for the ECU and uh, this one is for the PDM and also I have here, this is the battery for the um, fire suppression system. Uh, maybe not that nice to have it here, but um, yeah, I think it is um, good. You can activate it there if you want. And the fire suppression system that is in here, it's also an 3M Novik one. It's gas uh, in that one, so it's not uh, any liquid or powder or anything. So if anything um, happens, if there is a small fire or accidentally uh, activated the fire suppression system, it doesn't make any harm or damage or something like that. We have some outlets here with a titanium bracket. So one on the side here, one on the side here as well. So yeah, also some small details. Uh, I've changed some bolts to aluminum or titanium bolts. So yeah, make it a little bit nicer, I think. Also about the oil system, normally there is a dipstick here, but uh, that one is removed because I installed an electric sensor. So it's a sensor uh, feeling the um, oil level in this one. So you check it electronically instead. Before I had it on a dash, now it will be on a gauge. And here is the fill port of the oil. This one I think I can touch up a bit because it's um, anodized and either Either I remove the black paint here or uh, make a proper paint of this one. It has a rear view uh, camera here, but it's no parking sensors that on is on many modern cars. Just drove the car a bit here and uh, now I'm back in the garage and yeah it reminds me of uh, this car uh, was never planned to be sold. I thought I would own this car forever in my life here but uh, yeah. 
time changes, so now I think uh, this one have to go. Um, some things in the build are uh, a little bit experimental, like the um, when I was figuring out the wiring, for example, and uh, yeah, the turbo system. I don't know how to say it, but um, yeah, some things are too nice, and uh, some things are. Um, yeah, a little bit experimental, but it's fully functioning. It's no problem at all. But uh, I just will say that this is not uh, a product from a big company. I built this how I want to have the car. And uh, yeah, uh, I would not, if I would have built uh, this for a customer directly, I would have done a little bit different. But yeah, I'm not building uh, cars like these for customers. So I'm building them for myself. Front diff and the drive shaft and uh, yeah, I have boxes with all of the original parts so it's possible to put this uh, back to original. Because some special rules in Sweden uh, with moving goods, uh, I don't need to have the catholic quarters but they are in there. Even some um, cat delete pipes there, original fuel pumps, some uh, solenoids and pipes and everything for eager is here. It it was working plate instead of the six speed panel this one and uh, yeah the buttons the e-gear mood buttons for example also the price of the car i don't actually know what uh, this could be worth especially because it is modified but i will put the price here in the comments below and um, yeah also some links to uh, some references i have no hurry really to sell the car so yeah uh, if um, I get any offer of the car, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Ah.